Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas. This is Awesome With Things. I made this cool sign. It is super 3D. Kind of looks like something right out of the 80s. I have a mustache now. Love it or hate it, let me know in the comments. Stick around, I'll show you how I made it and I'll tell you a little bit more about this. I found a cool typeface with these spiky edges, printed it out, hit it with some spray adhesive and attached it to three quarter inch MDF. Ripped this down on my table saw and then I put some holes in it with the drill press because this is heading to the scroll saw. Here we go, scroll saw time. Now this is the periodic table, and here is cesium. This is a radioactive element. It throws off some gamma rays, so you could turn into the Incredible Hulk. No, no, just kidding. But the interesting thing about this is how it resonates. It resonates at this frequency. If you have scientific equipment watching this element and counting the jiggles because Everything in this universe vibrates, apparently. And you count nine billion and some little jiggles, one second goes by. That's right, this is used to tell time. If you ever heard of atomic clock or atomic timekeeping, that's what that is. It's very predictable. How predictable? Well, if you use this clock to monitor your life and you lived one million years, at the one million year mark, it might be off by one second. So it's pretty darn accurate. I just thought it would be cool to make a piece of artwork with cool looking fonts because I love typefaces in this large 80s style exploded type of uh, 3D effect. Hey, it's cool. I'm also really liking watches lately. I'm becoming sort of a watch enthusiast. And since this helps watches keep time, it seemed like a cool piece of artwork. I'm totally digging it. I won't show every piece that I cut out. Cutting these shapes was a lot of fun. I love using the scroll saw. It's an awesome tool. Then I primed it and used acrylic paint and I got to painting. This just took some time and I can already tell I really like it. After I finish painting everything, it's time to turn my attention to the base that these will go on. So I need to move my fence over and look at this. It's a work of art. I won this in a contest from Tony Rollo from Hillview Wood and Metal. I love it. So I ripped that down, cut it off, and I want nice hard bevels. The whole thing about this project is shadows. So these awesome large bevels I think will work really well. Here I'm backing up that piece with a square board. Do not want the workpiece to move when it's going past that blade. You don't want it to tilt forward or backwards. You have to be safe. And there you go. I like it already. Now I needed a hanger on the back and I always like to countersink the hanging hardware for artwork so it will sit flush against the wall. So you can see I put a place for that. But first, I have to prime it and paint it. Here's a tip, don't use spray paint on MDF, it's just trouble. I use two part epoxy and nails. So this isn't going anywhere. Hammer time. <laughs> and then I just glue on each number and letter. I use the printout to get the spacing perfectly because I spent a lot of time spacing that in the beginning. So I wanted to get it as close as possible. And there you go. I just love it. The shadows are great. 
I have an email newsletter now. Keep up with all the awesomeness. I run contests from time to time. You'll want to know when that happens. Sign up at awesomewoodthings.com. Before you leave, click the meh or thumbs up button. Be sure to like the smash button and shoot laser beams at the bell. Thanks, Internet. <laughs>